the more confused I got, the harder I tried to fix myself or, you know, the more things I studied, mm. the more trainings I went to, mm. to try and figure it out. And, and, you know, it became complex. I was kind of on this constant hunt to figure myself out and to, and, and ultimately to fix myself. I thought I had to manage all my thinking. I thought I had to get better thinking. I thought I had to um, get over habitual thinking. You know, I'm, I'm that classic, very busy minded. I, I respected my thinking. I thought my thinking was the ticket to getting my life right, to getting my head on straight a lot of focus and doing and got to do it. Oh, this is my client. So this is my time for active listening. Oh, this is my time to guide them. This is my, you know, like just so much on my mind. And this understanding helped me see myself and my potential with a lot more clarity and hopefulness. And in a way I found like the the true source of change and transformation versus what I thought it was before. Our relationship to thought is having way more influence in our lives than we realize. Yeah. We don't control the thought. Here's the really cool thing. It's varied. It's fluid. It can change in a dime, mm -hmm. you know? So one moment my view can look really hopeless and the next moment I can get a glimmer of hope. Like that's just how it mm -hmm. works. What started to happen was I started to get touched by life in a very different way. I started to get filled up 